What's going on drivers and fellow CB enthusiasts, it's Jay Rich back again with another one and as you can tell by the title down below, we are talking about AM, FM radio speakers and not CB today. Now this video is going to be for the 2019 and up Freightliner Cascadias and I'm going to show you how to change the door speakers, what speakers I used, what tools you're going to need and if you're a company driver, there's something very, very important about this that could get you fired. Don't get fired for doing this. But stay tuned, I'm gonna tell you all about that. I'm gonna show you how to put these speakers in. And if you would, go on ahead and hit that subscribe right down there in the corner before we get too far into this. A like, a share, a comment, and hit the bell and all the good stuff that everybody wants you to do. Let's me know you want to see more content like this. Okay, for the tools that you're gonna need, you are going to need Torx bits. Now, you can use the short ones if you want to, but you will need an extension for one. I have these longer ones, so I'm just gonna use those. And uh, for the T30, you it helps to have the extension with the T30, not so much the T20. So T20 and T30 is what you're gonna need in the Torx bits, a uh, couple of uh, socket wrenches, two red butt connectors, a crimper, a stripper, a flathead screwdriver, and a regular pair of pliers. And if you have the luxury, uh, a impact driver of some sort to uh, help you get through faster. So uh, well, let's go on ahead and go over here to the door panel and let's start taking things apart. Okay, first things, come in with your flat blade screwdriver, get up underneath the light and just pry it out. It comes out very easily and then you can unplug. Same thing up here for your window switch. It goes down in there, just get under it with a screwdriver, pry it up, pull it out, unplug it. Now these covers right here, they look like you can get behind them, which you can get behind them. And you should be able to just pop them off, but uh, these things are in there like crazy good and this corner already broke uh, me just trying to get that off So we're not going that direction your door handle will need to come off And this is where the long t30 comes in and while you can't see it There is a rubber dust cap here. You have to go in through here and uh, get the bolt out to get the door handle off that's where the longer T30 comes in handy. Uh, for the rest of it, you are just going to go around with all of these uh, bolts and get those off. Get your hand behind there and just pop up here. Pop. There is a push pin right here, and then there is a push pin right there. A uh, door trim tool would be helpful, uh, but you can use a flat blade screwdriver and, or, and the pair of pliers to just get those out. And then what you will do, you will need to get the the uh, door panel over the uh, lock button. So after you pop it all loose, you're going to go up with the door panel to get it up and over that. All right, so let me show you this door handle right here. Your door handle sits in like so. And there is the bolt right there that you are going after inside the door panel. So... I've got my lights, I got my lights, my control up there for the window, all the bolts out, let me grab that screwdriver that I dropped, and now we need to get uh, this trim piece off right here, and if you look under, see there's a slot right there, we just kind of pry in there, and then another slot right there back over here does that one give away right there just pry it up a little and then it's going to kind of rotate it's going to rotate and then push up on it and then you can see bolt bolt and then bolt right there okay so we are ready to take the speaker out there are i said t20 earlier but these are more t25 or t27 luckily i brought a t25 with me and you will have four screws around and then your speaker comes out now here comes the important part 
if you look on the back of this speaker right here there's one plug there's two plugs two plugs on this speaker now no that does not mean that this is some sort of souped up performance speaker this side over here is your power for the radio for music to come through your speaker this one here is for your lane departure warning that amplify that uh resonates through the speaker so when you drift in and out of a lane you hear that brrr, that's coming from your speaker all right everybody so i got a little editorial note about changing the speakers in the 2019 and up freightliner cascadia and this is very very important and i feel it is my duty to pass that on to you now when you change these speakers, as you see, the speaker has two different plugs, and one of them being for the AM, FM radio, and the other one being what I said was for the uh, lane departure warning. Now, if your truck is equipped with other warnings, like um, following too close, uh, collision avoidance, um, <clears throat> various other things like that when you change the speakers and you unplug the blue plug all right you lose all audible warnings on the freightliner cascadia you lose your turn signal sound you lose your door open sound your headlights being left on um, your hazards your lane departure if your truck is equipped uh where at a certain temperature like mine once it gets down to 34 degrees it'll pop up with a warning saying watch for ice um and but the biggest the biggest 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 one that you will lose is your low air warning buzzer or ding or noise or whatever it is so if your air pressure drops below, what is it, 90 or 60, pound, uh, 60 pounds, you will not get the warning uh, through the speakers. All of that comes through the speakers. Now you will still have the warnings that pop up on the dash. If you're falling too close or collision or your door's open or your low air, all that will still be visible on the dash, but you will not hear it. That's what I mean by audible alerts now as far as dot goes when your air pressure drops below that psi you're supposed to get a buzzer and then further below that your dash valves are supposed to pop out all that will still work except for the buzzer you're not going to hear it dinging at you or buzzing at you or whatever it does i'm thinking it dings at you you know um so you're not going to have that. That is a very, very important thing to have. You will get yourself a ticket, if not get fired for it. Now, my solution to that is, is that uh, I do have here at home uh, a couple of small tweeters that are like one inch. Um, I'm going to uh, wire one of those into the driver's door and so that I will get all of those alerts back all those audible alerts, the alerts that you hear, I will get those back, uh, hopefully, by adding just a, a small speaker. If not, I'm probably going to end up, um, because both speakers in the truck weren't bad, so I may put the good one back um, in in the truck if, if uh, you know, because we don't need, somebody will have that truck after me, and I don't want to be the one responsible for that person getting a ticket or something like that. So we definitely, definitely need to fix that. But continue with the video. So you will unplug this. Your new speaker only has one uh, set of terminals, not two. Uh, unless if you're buying a factory speaker, which we're not doing factory speakers. Uh, I'm gonna show you here in a minute our speakers and what we're using, but yeah. This is your power, the black, and on the uh, deal here, they are marked uh, positive and negative on the speaker, so you know which is which. Uh, this one uh, we're doing away with altogether, not going to worry about it. 
So keep that in mind. If you change speakers, you're eliminating the lane departure warning. So for you company drivers and you say, well, they'll never know. Well, they will. And here's a picture of why. That warning will come up every time the key is turned on. So when you go in for maintenance or whatever at your terminal, your technician turns the truck on, he's gonna see that. And then they're gonna be like, well, what's going on with the speakers? Uh, the speakers play fine. Well, maybe that driver put speakers in. He ain't allowed to do that. So that's why I say uh, there's something very important to this that could get you fired. So let's go on ahead on over here and take a look at the speakers that I got. These are the Pioneer. There is the part number. These are about $50 on Amazon. And the reason why I got this is because of the adapter ring that comes with the speaker. Now, as far as the speaker grill goes, you're not gonna be able to use that. This, uh, the, the voice coil here sticks out farther uh, and will actually, uh, it'll be pushed up against the door panel a little bit but this if you just went and mounted this up that's pretty much center of the hole there's nowhere to bolt the speaker down really it's going to be all wonky in there and these right here are your holes for your speaker and you just you can't get there just with the speaker itself so you need this adapter ring that comes with this or you can buy this separate really they do come separate and the good thing about these if you see these lines through here uh, all of these are their brake lines uh, where you can take a pair of pliers and snap these off and they'll break cleanly to where you can uh, fit them to the door panel and I'm going to show you right now we'll grab our our pliers um, see there's a nub right here a nub right here and this little piece that locates the speaker we're going to break all those off and you pretty much grab you a piece a pair of pliers right here and they'll snap off clean enough to get your speaker adapter in there. And this piece as well, right here. That needs to come off a little bit more. But there you have that. That's how you deal with that. So let me go on ahead and get the speaker out of the way. Uh, I need to orient the, uh, or find the orientation of the adapter piece. So let me get that. Okay, so we have our adapter ring in place, and if you look, you'll see the spots where I had to break the uh, things off for them to fit. Uh, there was another one, oh, up here. Up here, there's a couple pieces that I had to break to get it to fit flush and sit on there nicely. I uh, went on ahead and put the things on your large is going to be your positive the small is going to be your negative now remember uh, where the plug-in was on the speaker they were marked positive and negative the wires pretty much look the same both of them have stripes both of them have writing and now some will say well it doesn't matter you know i don't subscribe to the whole it doesn't matter so here's our other plug we're just going to leave that intact and tuck it back in there we're ready to put our speaker on and uh, here's our speaker now in the kit with pioneer they give you a little hardware kit and there are short screws and long screws we are using four of these short screws to put our speaker up in there all right here's our speaker installed and uh, they are Phillips head and I forgot to mention Phillips head screwdriver and keep in mind when you're screwing these down you are screwing into plastic so just a touch over snug you don't no ugga duggas 
No idea good Doug is on this. So we need to put our door panel back on. Don't forget to feed the wiring for your light and for your um, uh, window switch. Now the hardest part about putting the door panel back on is getting the lock over uh, through the hole in the top of the door panel. So uh, I'm sure some of y'all wondering how this sounds. Well, sound doesn't come good through a speaker, through a camera, through YouTube and all that. So trust me, it sounds fine. Uh, it's gonna sound a lot better than factory speaker does. So, yep, button it all back together and you've got it. All right, so there you have it. That is how you install a speaker on a 2019 and up Freightliner Cascadia. Now, these speakers are cheaper than buying one from Freightliner and they're gonna sound 10 times as better. Now, this is not really any sort of a performance speaker upgrade, but it is a better speaker. So now you know all you need to know and how to not get yourself in trouble putting new speakers in your 2019 and up Freightliner Cascadia. But I appreciate you guys sticking with me and watching. If you would go on ahead and click on that playlist, there's more trucking videos. Or if you go into my channel, there are CB videos if you're interested in CB. And as always, subscribe is very much appreciated. I'm Jay Ritchie. Keep your knees in the breeze and the shiny side up. We'll be seeing you.